I will enter his gates. Come on, with thanks. Come on. I will enter his courts. To his courts with rain. I will say this in the day. Come on. That the Lord has made. Come on, let's make one big choir. We'll rejoice for here. One more time. I will enter. I will enter his gates. That's what we come to do. And in my heart, I will enter his court with rain. Come on, I will say this is the day. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Come on. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Tell somebody. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Come on. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Come on. Put a smile on your face this morning. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. Glad. Oh, he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice. Oh, he has. That's why I can sing this morning. Oh, there are so many wonderful things about Jesus. Oh, there are so many wonderful things Come on, somebody, give him some glory. Come on, give him the praise. Hallelujah. He deserves your praise. He deserves your worship. We honor the Lord today for his grace and his mercy. Can we stand all over the building this morning for our opening hymn? Come on, I last and did at last. At last and did my Savior bleed. And did my sovereign die. Would he devote that sacred head for sinners such as I? Come on, we know it, we know it. Come on, put your hand together. At
on, put your hand together, church. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart blown away. It was there. Come on, somebody came to have church. It's good to know somebody got up feeling good this morning. You all just seem like you want to sing all day. And you all know me, I don't care. You can sing all day. Um, we can take care of the little bit of stuff we need to do. And you all can sing another 20, 30 minutes for all I care. It's all right. Um, let me just say this to you. Let me just say this to you. Um, we are quickly approaching. Um, it's not March yet, but we're in what, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. So two and a half years. For two and a half years, we have done worship in a pandemic-type situation. Amen. And I'm going to make sure I say this again before we leave, because I know sometimes everybody doesn't get here at 10 o'clock, and sometimes people don't sign on by 10 o'clock. But beginning the first Sunday of October, first Sunday of October, that is, I believe that's October 2nd, we will be lifting our seating restrictions. We'll be lifting our seating restrictions. For those of you who are still worshiping at home, we would love to see you. However, we still ask that you sign up just for contact tracing purposes. But hear me well, if you do not sign up, we'll still let you in. We may slap you on the wrist a little bit, you know. It'll be your warning as the police sometimes. The police give you a warning when you mess up. So we'll give you a warning but we would just ask that you sign up for contact tracing purposes. We are still asking that you wear a mask. We 
yet we haven't lifted that just yet. But prayerfully, the Lord will allow us to do that soon in a few months. But as of October 2nd, the first Sunday of October, we will be lifting our seating restrictions. Now, what I would say is, um, I'm going to tell y'all, we haven't worked all this out yet. Because we got to see it in action first before we make it perfect. We're going to still ask the, the uh, ushers to seat you. We're going to still ask the ushers to seat you. Huh? I know some of you are dying to get back to your, your old seat. But here's the thing. For two and a half years, you, haven't, you may not have sat in your old seat. And guess what? You still had a good time in church. Amen. Amen. So being that you all seem all fired up already this morning, we're going to change things around. We're going to change things around. Um, Jason's going to pray. He didn't know it. He's going to pray. Hallelujah. Nat is going to read the scriptures. He knew it. And then Sheldon just going to sing since y'all want to sing some, some while. And whenever you see me walk up here, that means it's preaching time. Okay. And then we're going to get on out of here. Is that all right? It's all right. Is that all right? Um, sometimes, and besides you all, I'm already on vacation. And um, tomorrow, thanks be to God, I'll be getting on that airplane. And I just want you all to know one thing. For those who are here physically and those who are with us virtually, you can call me. I won't get back to you till I get back. But you can call me. Um, I have left someone in charge if, if, if clergy is needed. But um, it has been over two years since I have gone on a real vacation. And I'm going to put myself on a little plane and go on about my business and pray that the Lord will allow me to come back renewed, recharged, and restored, and rejuvenated. It's just good to know that we serve a God who can do anything but fail. So you all know the order, right? See, I'm talking, um, well, no, let me get this out the way first because I don't want to mess up wherever y'all go. I'm also talking because by now, Sheldon, I thought Jason would be up here ready. Oh, but we don't have a, yes, we, uh, yeah, there's a mic up here. Praise the Lord. Let me make sure it's on. I don't want Jason to have technical difficulties and then blame me. Amen. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But this morning, as always, we are delighted to have Delegate Mike Rogers and his wonderful wife, Tanya, in our presence this morning. And it would, I would not be doing my job if I did not ask, is there anything you would like to share this morning? If it, he said, no, nah, he just came to worship. Amen. Amen. So again, you all have the order. It's going to be a, the, a prayer, the scriptures. Y'all going to sing yourselves happy, which you've already done. And then we're going to preach and get out of here. Amen? Amen. Let us all look to the Lord. Most gracious, holy, and everlasting God. Father, we come to thank you for all of your many, many blessings. Father God, we just thank you because we know that you keep us, you provide for us. And in spite of all that happens in the world around us, Lord God, the one thing that we know for certain is that you love us and that you got us. And for that, we thank you, Father. Lord God, we pray for those in the world who are under so much turmoil and war, people who are oppressed, those that come to seek sanctuary in our country, Lord God, that have been shipped to different parts of the country without their, their knowledge. There are so many things that are happening in the world, Lord God, that we tend to rely on those who are in power to make the decisions, Lord God, that are pleasing in your sight, but oftentimes they fall short of our expectations. Father God, we pray for the leaders and those who are in power in our world 
in our country and in our communities, Lord God, that they may seek your wisdom, Heavenly Father, to do what is right in your sight. Father God, we just pray for all of those who are here together today, Lord God. We come but for one purpose, and that purpose is to lift you up and to honor and praise you, Lord God. Heavenly Father, we come to give you all honor and praise and glory because we know, Father God, that all things work together for the good of those who love you, God and who are called according to your purpose. But Father God, in spite of all of this, every now and then, Lord God, we get caught up in a lot of the things that are going on in the world and we tend to get sidetracked and depressed and sometimes, Lord God, we just deal with things, Father God, that are different for us to, difficult for us to reconcile inside. Help us, Father. Lead us and guide us, Lord God. Holy Spirit, lead us, Holy Spirit. Help us, God, to find that peace that surpasses all understanding. Father God, we pray for those who have lost loved ones. We pray, Lord God, that their loved ones have found favor with you. And for those that we have lost, our loved ones and our family, Lord God, we, we thank you for being a part of their lives, Lord God, and bringing them to a place, Heavenly Father, that we can celebrate and be grateful and happy for their reward. But for those of us who are still here, Heavenly Father, help us to understand that you are still here with us. And that you guide us and that you take care of us and that you provide for us, Lord God. Heavenly Father, we pray for our pastor. We pray, Lord God, that he will always stay connected to you. And that he will carry out the will that you have for him. That he may lead your people, Lord God, into a right relationship with you. Help us in the church to stay united. Help us, Lord God, to forgive one another. To let go of any resentment that we might have towards one another, Lord God. That we may stay connected and, 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 and walk, Lord God, and to build and to develop our relationship with you, Lord God, that provides that, that peace and that love that we all seek. Help us to be instruments of your peace, Lord God. And Father God, finally, we offer ourselves to you to build with us, Lord God, and to do with us whatever it is that you want to. We pray that you will relieve us of the bondage of self, that we may better do your will and take away our difficulties, Lord God, that victory over them may bear witness to those we would help of your love, power, and your way of life and grant us strength as we go forth from here to do your bidding. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I'll be reading New Testament, First Timothy, second to the Second chapter, first to the seventh verse. Come on. First of all, hold it. First of all, then I urge that supplication, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for everyone. For kings and all who are in high place positions, so that you may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and dignity. I'm gonna read that second verse again. For kings and all who are in high positions, so that you may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and dignity. This is right and acceptable 
acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Who desires everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth? For there is one God, there is also one mediator between God and humankind. Christ Jesus, himself human, who gave himself as a ransom for all. This was attested, attested at the right time. For this is, I was appointed as Earl, Earl, an apostle. I am telling the truth. I am not lying. A teacher of the Gentiles in, in faith and truth. We'll all stand, please, for the gospel lesson. Luke 16, 16th chapter, 1st to the 13th verse. Then Jesus said to the disciples, there was a rich man who had a manager and were charged with, were charged were brought to him that the man was squandering his property. So he summoned him and said to him, what is this that I hear about you? Give me an account of your management because you cannot be my manager any longer. Then the manager said to himself, what will I do now that my master is taking the position away from me? I am not strong enough to dig and I'm ashamed to beg. I have decided what to do so I have decided what to do so that when I am dismissed as manager, people may welcome me into their homes. So summoning his master's debtors, one by one he asked the first, how much do you owe my master? He answered, a hundred jugs of olive oil. He said to him, take your bill, sit down quickly, and make it 50. Then he asked another, and how much do you owe? And he replied, a hundred containers a week. And he said to him, take your bill and make it 80. And his master commended the dishonest manager because he had acted shrewdly, shrewdly. For the children of this age are more shrewd in dealing with their own generation than are the children of light. And I tell you, make friends for yourself by means of dishonest wealth, so that when it's gone, you may welcome you into the eternal home. Whoever is faithful in a very little is faithful also in much. Whoever is dishonest in very little is dishonest also in much. If then you have not been faithful with the dishonest wealth, you will be entrusted. Who will entrust? to you the true riches. And if you have not been faithful with, that, with what belongs to another, who will give you what you own? No slave can serve two masters, for a slave will either hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. This is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. Thanks be to God. Can you put your hands together and give God some praise? I mean, really give God some praise this morning. He deserves your praise. Hallelujah. Can we go back down memory lane this morning when we used to have our senior choir? And the senior choir would wear their red and black robe. They would come marching down the aisles. And one of the songs they used to sing was, Go a little something like this. They would say, Come and go with me to my father's house. Can we sing that this morning? To my father's house. Oh, to my father's house. Oh, come and go with me to my father's house. There is Then they would say something like that. They would say, oh, peace and happiness there in my father's house. Oh, in my father's house. Oh, in my father's house. 
peace and happiness. Peace and happiness there in my father's house. There is joy, joy, joy. Then we get good to them. They would say something like this. They would say, sweet communion up there. Hallelujah. Can you worship him today? Hallelujah. Can you, can you just lift your hand and just worship the Lord today? Hallelujah. Let's say this, say this. Say, Holy Spirit, come and fill this place. Can we worship God a little bit? Bring us healing and your warm embrace. Show your power. Make your presence known. Holy Spirit, come fill this place. Come on, breath of God, breath of God. Breath of God, we need a touch from you. Anybody need a touch from the Lord? Shine down on us with the light of truth. Oh. Bring us healing and your warm embrace. Show your power, show your power, God. 
show your power, make your presence known. Holy Spirit, come fill this place. Breath of God, oh, breath of God, we need a touch from you. This morning we came for a touch, oh Lord. And shine down on us with the light of truth. God, this morning we're asking one thing, that you would stir our hearts, set our spirits free. Holy Spirit, come fill this place. I invite you to lift your hands with me in worship. Holy Spirit, come fill this place. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come fill this place. One more time, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come fill this place. He knows my name. Yes, he knows my name. Can I get a witness this morning? Oh, God knows my name. Yes, he does. Yes, he knows my name. And oh, how he walks with me. Yes, he does. And oh, how he talks with me. Yes, Lord. Oh, and oh, how he tells me. Aren't you glad that I am his own? Hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus. He knows my name. Let's worship. Hallelujah. Yes, he knows my name. Oh, Jesus knows my name. Yes, he does. Yes, Jesus knows my name. Listen, and oh, how he comforts me. Yes, he does when I'm going through. And oh, how he counsels me when I need somebody to talk to. And guess what, y'all? It's still amazes me that I am his own come on oh how you walk with me and oh how he walks with me and oh how he talks with me yes Lord oh how you tell me oh how you tell me that I am his own. Let's go old school for a moment. We used to say, and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever Sing it one more time. And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. And all the joy we share have we there there. None other has ever no. Never would have made it. Never could have made it without you. Come on, we're the church folk. Eh? I would have lost it all. But now I see you were there for me. And I can say I never would have made it. Yeah. Yeah. I never would have made it without you. I would have lost it all But now I see You were there for me And I can say I'm stronger Can I get a witness? I'm wiser I'm better 
much better when I look back over all God put me through hallelujah I realize I had you to hold on to and I never never would have made it yes Lord never could have made it without you I would have lost it all but now I see you were there for me and I can say I never would have made it I never could have made it without you I would have lost it all I would have lost it all yeah yeah I would have lost it all but now I see you were there for me I thank you for it all uh, the good, bad, the ugly great and small Calamatia. the time of victory and when I fall I'm so grateful that I still standing tall I thank you for the tears the pain helped me overcome my fears you've been good to me down throughout the years it's a miracle that i'm still standing here i thank you for it all come on before we bring the preacher can you stand on your feet and just say this with me say say this i thank you for it all come on just say that just say that, lift your hand and just begin to worship the Lord. Say, oh, I thank you for it. Oh, come on, just that little line right there. All the hurt, all the pain, all the heartache, all my rain. I thank you for it. Oh, one more time. One more time. I thank you for it. Oh, yeah, I thank you for it. Oh. Good, bad, the ugly, great and small. Time the victory and win the fall. I'm so, so grateful that I'm still standing tall. Listen, I love this part. I thank you for the tears. My pain helped me overcome my fears. You've been good to me down throughout the years. It's a miracle that I'm still standing here. Come on, before we bring the preacher, can we sing it how we used to say? We would say, Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Y'all know I can sing all day. He's been that good. Thank you. times I just want to I just want to thank hallelujah I just want to thank you Lord come on give him glory thank you for all that you've done this far hey yes Lord hallelujah and so thank you for food I know he, I know Sheldon went back to how he used to say it, but I want you to take it back to how Marvin Sapp said it. Because see, I think I can get done in about five minutes if we start with the fact that Marvin Sapp said, I thank you for it all. The good, the bad, the ugly, see, it's good when we can come to church. Let me see, who can I talk to this morning? I'm going to pick on Miss Geraldine this morning. Miss Geraldine, it's good when, as the preacher, you can come to church realizing that you struggled last night because you couldn't figure out what God wanted you to say to the people. And then I just walked away for a while and watched some TV because I thought maybe I had brain freeze. And, I, you know, sometimes, y'all might not believe this, but I... Even I sit at the computer and say, well, maybe that last Sunday was my last sermon. Maybe, maybe preaching ain't what the Lord wants me to do anymore. And when I got back 
in front of the computer, the Lord simply says, stop looking at the lectionary and simply turn to Psalm 150. Yeah. Which simply says, praise yeah. the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound, with lute and harp, with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with your clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything. Now see in the new revised it says that breathes. Praise the Lord. But, but the way we as church folk know it. We say let everything that have breath. Praise the Lord. And I just want you to all know somebody sent me a text Sheldon and said I can just get up now. And say amen and go home. Because the title this morning was, Let Everything Praise Him. And I've heard you all sit here this morning and praise the Lord for everything he has done, everything he is doing, yeah. and everything that is still yet to come. So just by a show of hands, because I, see, see Mike, you know how it is. You got to make sure you do your job so people don't right. get you. But is it all right if I just give you about five minutes worth and then we're going to leave? Because right. I don't want to mess anybody up this morning. Because, see, I, 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 I can say this to Sheldon because, see, it's year five and we got a good relationship. Sheldon, I, I, I was nervous at first because he, he went down, down memory lane. But I understood it now. He had to let everybody know the same way we praise him now is the same way we used to praise him. So, so I'm going to give some of you who, who may not understand the praise of music now, I'm going to give them something that you knew about, but now I'm going to bring it up for everybody else and to end with saying, I thank you for it all. Um, I, I'm going to just pick on people. I, I need y'all to understand. Okay, I got to show you I did some homework in the theology. Don't even stop. You can stay right there because I'm going I'm to say 1045 by 1050. Uh, Melvin, if I ain't done, yeah, you do just like that, I'll see you, yeah. I, I need you all to at least know I was ready to preach them because it said praise God in his sanctuary. A and Jason, some people think this is the sanctuary, but I've come to understand now that anywhere I am and where God is, is his sanctuary. So whether I'm in the church or outside of the church, whether I'm in my car, in my home, in my job, some of y'all like to even praise him in the bathroom. Wherever yeah. is my favorite place is my sanctuary. And, and I ought to be able to go in there every now and then, Miss Jeanette, and praise the Lord. Then it went and said firmament. And I was like, firmament, that's one of them big words. You got to help people understand. In other words, praise him in his firmament. And if you all don't know what firmament is, see, I, I make sure I write this stuff down so everybody will understand. That's nothing but talking about the wide expanse of the sky with all its might in storms and weather. So whether it's sunshine, whether it's raining, whether it's cloudy, whether it's just a bad, yucky, fog-filled, smog-filled day, let everything that have breath Praise the Lord. Then we got to his instruments. They talked about the trumpet, the lute, the harp, the tambourine, the dance, the strings, the pipe, and the cymbals. And, and I know how people are. They'll come at you and say, Sheldon, well, look, preacher, I can't play no instrument. And you're right, you can. But God gave you a pair of hands. God gave you a pair of feet. And God gave you a voice. So, see, I, I know back in the day when we didn't have drums, we had, well, not we, because I wasn't back there then. But, but some of you know, back in the day before we had instruments in the church. And if you're from the South, you know, you had a washboard, you had some spoons, you had some pots and pans. And when you put it all together, you learned how to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I got like, yeah, I'm going to be done before 10 of because I'm, I'm almost done because y'all getting it. It said, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. 
Nowhere in there did it say when it's good, praise the Lord. It, it didn't say when you got a job, praise the Lord. It, it didn't say if you got a car, praise the Lord. It said if you have breath in your body, regardless of how you're feeling, you ought to be able to get up and at least give me at least five seconds to, to praise the Lord. I, I'm going to pick on Mike Rogers and his wife Tanya because I saw y'all went to the Nationals game. And I know somebody in there at least got up one time and cheered when the Nationals scored. Imagine what the churches would look like. Imagine what church folk would sound like if every time we walked into the building, we said, I don't care about anybody else, but I came to make a joyful noise this morning. The Lord woke me up. Food was on my table. Clothes are on my back. I made it from my home to the church. Therefore, I'm going to praise the Lord just for a little while. I need two minutes to finish it up because maybe you got somebody next to you who's looking at you like you done lost your mind. Because they don't realize everything you've been through. Yeah. They don't realize where you could be, where you should be, and where you ought to be. They don't realize that the world knocked you down over and over and over and over again. And you just came this morning because you said, I don't have no doubt this morning. Yeah. Regardless of what I'm going through, I know the Lord will work it out for me. Yeah. Therefore, I'm going to come into the house of the Lord. I'm going to lift my hands at least one time. I'm going to pat my foot at least one time. I'm going to put my hands together at least one time. Because it's only because of his grace and his mercy that I got up this morning. Kip and Angie, y'all going through some stuff in your family. But I just told you, let everything that had breath praise the Lord. For people that are living praise the Lord. For death, praise the Lord. For sickness, praise the Lord. For rich, praise the Lord. For poor, praise the Lord. If I got a job, praise the Lord. If you got fired this week, praise the Lord. Well, hold up, pastor. Why am I praise the Lord? Because the Lord is about to bless you with another one, and you might as well start thanking him in advance. See, I used to be the kind of person that I only thank the Lord when I got something. But now I've come to understand that we got to learn how to thank the Lord for what's about to come. Friends and family walked away. That's all right. The Lord is about to send you a real group of friends that will be there with you through thick and thin. Children getting on your nerves. Praise the Lord because you still got your children. Spouse getting you on your nerves. Praise the Lord because you still got a spouse. Family getting on your nerves, praise the Lord that you still got some family. Church folk getting on your nerves, praise the Lord that you can come into his sanctuary just for a little while. Let everything that had breath, praise the Lord. I pray this morning that you understand what I'm trying to say. I, 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 praise the Lord. I pray that you're trying to understand what I'm trying to say. But just in case you don't. Yeah, okay. We got a keyboard. We got some drums. I see a tambourine. And we got a whole lot of feet and hands. I'm finished. So we're going to have two minutes where I can really show you what I believe the Lord was trying to tell us. But let me say something to you because I forgot to give y'all this public service announcement. And the public service announcement for the morning is this. As I was coming on Quarterfield Road, I saw a sign, Jason, that said, now open. So now that means after you all get your spiritual exercise in, yeah. uh -huh. you can go on down the road and work on your temple. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Um, I can tell you all right now that if we get out of church at 11 and you're looking for me around the time of 11, 30, or 12, don't even call me. Just come on down the road, walk on in the building, because I'll be in L.A. Fitness getting a good workout in. See, I believe you can't. Never mind. That's, that's another sermon. But let me show you what I think 
the writer in Psalm 150 was trying to say. Um, one minute, that's all I need now. One minute. I think I can play this for about 30 seconds. Um, but how many of us got up this morning? Yeah, I would say everybody sitting here physically and all those people who are with us virtually. And I realize you may not have felt the way you wanted to feel, but the Lord still got you up. Amen. I, I think I should. Yeah. Yeah. So I believe what the writer was saying is, and this is how we're going to do it in this order. You're going to start, Sheldon. Jason, you coming in and I'm jumping in with y'all. So I'm just going to talk about the three of us. So Sheldon got up this morning and being that Sheldon's a little younger than us, he may not have had the aches and pains that we had. But children, but Sheldon's got a household of children. Amen. But I imagine that Sheldon got up out of his bed this morning and said, Lord, in spite of everything I've been through, uh, you still blessed my children. You kept my wife and myself. So I just want to praise you on the keyboards just for a little while. And Sheldon began to play himself happy just like this. I got a feeling everything going to be all right. Then Jason joined right on in. I got a feeling everything's going to be all right. And I couldn't let them have fun by themselves. Got a feeling everything's going to be all right. 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 Everything's gonna be alright. Oh, 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 Holy Ghost, He done told me everything's gonna be alright. Yeah, Holy Ghost told me everything's gonna be alright. Be alright. Be alright. Alright. Come on, let's have church for a moment. Oh, gonna be all right. Gonna be all right. Gonna be all right. Gonna be all right. Listen, turn around and tell somebody. We're gonna be all right. Turn around and tell somebody. We're gonna be all right. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let me see you wave your hand. Let me see you wave your hand. And let me see you wave your hand. Let me see you wave your hand. Let me see you stomp your feet. 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 Oh, I got a feeling everything's gonna be alright. Somebody shout yeah. 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 I forgot to say if somebody listening or sitting here doesn't have a church home, you send us an email, raise your hand, call us. We'll gladly hook you up. If not in here, we'll get you hooked up with somebody's building somebody's church, somebody's congregation, somebody's branch of Zion. But here's the thing this morning. We just sung, I got a feeling everything's going to be all right. And I don't know what you all have going on in your life. But what I do know is sometimes life can knock you down. But isn't it good that even when you get knocked down, you can stand up and say, but I got a feeling everything is going to be all right. Family's not working the way I want it to, but everything's going to be all right. My job is getting on my nerves, but everything is going to be all right. 
yeah. folks trying to act like they just don't want to agree with me, even when I know it's the Lord that's leading me, but everything is going to be all right. I, I don't know how to tell you anymore, but Metropolitan, it may not look like it, but everything is going to be all right because the sun will come out. <laughs> Every now and then you got to go through a storm in life. But it's good to know that everything is going to be all right. Because when the disciples and Jesus were out in the midst of the storm, Jesus looked at them and said, don't you realize I was just trying to get a nap? But since you woke me up, let me go on up here and show you just who I really am. And Miss Janetti said he went out and simply said three words. Peace, be still. And I don't know about anybody else, but... Every now and then I need a little peace in my life. But even when I can't get it, Kip, I got to remember everything's going to be all right. For those of you who joined late or came in late, remember October 2nd. October 2nd, we will be lifting our seating. Uh, I forgot, uh, yeah, that word, yeah. Seating uh, uh -huh. restrictions. Thank you all. I don't know why I always want to call it something else. Um, Restrictions, yeah, probably because I don't like the word restrictions. Um, and I pray that more of our members become to come, begin to come back and come in. But remember, we ask that you still sign up just for contact tracing purposes. And prayerfully, one day we won't have to sign up anymore. One day we won't have to worry about where we sit. We won't have to wear a mask. But until that day, we're going to keep trying to just keep everybody safe. We're going to keep trying to do what we need to do in this place. So right now, we simply leave you with this. May his peace. Okay, yeah, thank you all. Um, if as you're leaving here, you can possibly bless Metropolitan with a financial donation for the building of this kingdom, we ask that you drop it in the plate as you walk out. If you're not with us physically, you can mail it to us at 548 Queenstown Road, 7 Maryland 21144. You can drive by if you're on Queenstown Road and drop it in our drop box on the side near the oil tank and through the black slot. You can go on our website and pay through PayPal. As always, you can also pay us through your personal bank. You can go on Givelify or you can do our cash app, which is dollar sign 548 MUMC. We thank you this morning for being with us and worshiping with us. Also, um, yes, this, this is the last Sunday for our Board of Child Care Back to School Monetary Donation. This is the last Sunday that we will be collecting for the Board of Child Care Monetary Donation. I pray that the Lord keeps you. I pray that the Lord's peace walks before you. I pray that the Lord not only gives you peace, but gives you a perfect peace. And Lord willing, we will see you again right here from the Best United Methodist Church on Queenstown Road. We love you. Have a blessed week and stay safe. May his peace be with you till we meet again. May his peace be with you till we meet. Again, till we reach that distant shore, and we'll shed our tears no more. May He give you strength to endure as you go this week. again till we meet again go in peace